just making stepping forward he dives in good touch get him right so just nice and relaxed stepping forward just nice and slowly making uchuke gyakuzuki so from here it's going to be step forward with the left making the block make sure load step then gyakuzuki okay just nice and relaxed H one two good and up other hand itch one two good and up again itch good and up knee and up good again itch good and up knee good and up so a couple of things to think about just your stepping double check number one that you haven't got any excess motion and you urge UK so as you make a chuke, there's a tendency across many people to span their arms out first. Don't feel a squeezing action, right? So immediately think elbows, just bring them across. So as you step, feel here, cover and push. Second thing with what we were doing last week, right? This feeling of uh, an opening of the hip. Feel body, elbow, hip together. So the hip, body and elbow all move together as they drive out, as they make that connection, okay? So even if you have to, slow it down just to feel the action of here, here. Feel the action of the hip from here, 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 as it steps out, feel it pull, right? So the elbow joint feels like it's pulling the hip out. Ready? Itch! Good, then make the gyakusuki, make sure door slams, knee, in. And up, again, opposite side, itch, knee, good, and up, itch, knee, and up, itch, knee, and up. Good, so it's that, that piece is important, right? That feeling of elbow, hip, body moving together, right? And remember last week we talked about different ways to move the hips. For now, just use the first one, the first one that you used to feel like this is the lead hand, this is making the cover and push. Okay, just nice and relaxed. A few more, ready? Itch, and punch. Knee, and punch. Some, and up. She, and up. Gop, and up. Look and up. Sheesh. Up. Hutch. Good and up. Chew. Good. Chew. Good. Excellent. So second one. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to step forward, just making get a line. So feel from here, front hand. Just step. Ready? Nice and relaxed. Itch. Good and up. Opposite leg. Knee. Good and up. Sun. Enough. She. Enough. Go. Enough. Look. Enough. Sheesh. And up. One more. Hush. And up. Good. Okay. Now this time, what I want you to do, your hips are going to end square. Okay. You're going to do get on brai, but I want you to double it up with uchuke. So the same as you would do in hand sandan, right here, step and push. But this time, stepping forward this time, making the block and just block. Okay. Uchuke. Get on the right, just step forward and step. Just like so, you ready? Itch. Good, and up. Knee. And up. Sun. And up. She. And up. Go. And up. Rock. And up. Good, so as you move, 
you end up sort of in a, in a Talladega Nights Ricky Bobby sort of scenario of, you know, he's standing there and he's going, what do I do with my hands? In this case, it's what do I do with my hips, right? It's the same thing, right? When you're here, feel, feel the push of the hip as it steps up. Feel a drive off the rear leg as you drive in. You're going to end in a square hip position, sure, but allow, as you step forward, allow the technique to just simply make the block. Feeling here and feeling here is the same. I'm still driving off this leg, pushing this hip in to make the UQK. The other hip is driving forward to make the block. So don't think of it as a balai, think of it almost as a punch, it's coming down and hitting, rather than this sort of sweeping action forward, right? So when you think of it, if it's a sweep, here, hip, the hip gives it length. In this case, the hip is not, it's just in and push this feeling, right? It changes the action of the technique slightly. So from here, second thing is how do you move your hands? It depends. If you're lower in rank, you would make the full and complete loads, right? All of you are higher in rank, do the shorter course. Just feel a cover, feel your body cover. Cover your face, cover your head. Cover your face, cover your, uh, cover your, face, cover your stomach. Boom, just straight in, here, what? Oh, cover. Here, cover, here, cover. Then make the rest of the technique. Make the rest of the technique, cover, Technique. Does that make sense? So smooth, smooth, smooth action. Here, smooth action. Cover, 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 cover and let it go. Cover and let it go as it goes. And have that feeling of forward as it drives in. Does that make sense? Not this, but towards you. Forward. Ready? So smooth action. Don't reach out first, just squeeze. Good, and back, other side, knee, back, sun, and back, chi, back, go, back, oh, back, chi, Very good. So again, just be, be wary that you're not orphaning one of your hips or one of your sides, right? As you step in, feel the squeeze, feel the compression, right? If I'm stepping forward with my right, make sure here and here, make sure this hip is pushing forward, but equally with the other hand, the Uchuke hand, make sure it is also pushing forward. Don't leave it behind and put your emphasis in this hand. Make sure both equal, equal. Does that make sense? Don't just leave one behind. Mm, turn and push. Fuel. Ready? Blocking left side. Left side's gonna make the get on, but I'm stepping forward with the left. Ish. Knee. Some. too easy right yes no kind of Swanson's gone mad again okay this time from here I want you to go out and this time from here just making back stance Uchuke so from here you're going to step forward one, one. so Uchuke like so stepping out into back stance so I'm going to be here in ready Itch. Good, now from here, all I want you to do is step over, kick, punch. Right, so make sure you got distance. From here, step, kick, punch. This feeling, just make it nice and smooth, good. So back up, 
Try with your left hand again. Just drop your weight down. Each. Now knees. Step, kick, punch. Good. Probably just turn. Just stand up, face the other way. Now with your right hand. Each. Now step, kick, punch. Knee. Um, bum, bum. Good. And up. Turn. Each. Knee. Step, kick, punch. Good. And up. Turn. Right hand. Ish. Step, kick, punch. Knee. Pom, pa, pom. Good. And up. Sun. Chi. Step, kick, punch. Good. Come up. Chi. Good. Step, step, kick, punch. Good. And up. Couple of things to think about. Feel the um, drop of the first technique. Feel it simply drop an anchor. Then as you step, feel the flow. Once you start moving, allow the flow to continue. Don't just sit here and go. You know what I mean? Don't break it up. Just flow with technique. If you go a little bit off balance, it's okay. Feel here. Just step, kick, punch. This feeling. Right? Ready? Itch. Good, so make sure good back stance connected in. Knee, step, kick, punch. Good, enough. Itch. Knee, step, kick, punch. Good, and up. Again, itch. Knee, step, kick, punch. Good, one more. Itch. Knee. And punch, good. And also as you go with the punch, we'll do a few more. As you go with the punch, don't leave it here, place and then punch, right? Rather feel here, step, kick, and feel the, the connection of this driving leg coupled with the punch all at the same time. So as the leg's coming down, after the kick, feel, feel the punch. Don't worry about this leg coming down and when it places, just think about the connection between this back leg and the fist all expanding together, yeah? As you go. Here we go, a few more. Maybe up and back, up and back. Ish! Knee! Boom, boom, feel! Good, other side. Ish! Knee! Boom, boom! Feel. Good. Really use that rear leg, back hand. Ish! Knee, one bump. Good. Again. Ish. Knee, one bump. Good, and up. Good. So what we have is we have four by our three basics. Yeah. We have the idea of get a malay one punch. We have the idea of making from here get a malay uchuke, and the idea here feel. And then we have the idea here of dropping in place, step, kick, punch. Right, we have three, three different ways. And what we've done here effectively is, is we've given three different sort of, um, three different approaches to the technique. So the first one is the idea that someone's come in, they're stepping towards us, and we're simply, the feeling is we're simply stepping down to meet them and driving in. Bang, boom, right? Classic, basic karate. The, the second one is this idea, rather than sort of having to drive quite so far forward, what we're doing here is they're further in on us, and what we're doing is we're sort of stopping them with almost a punching technique, not a driving. This one here, we're kind of guiding them past us. We're blocking, pulling guiding, right, receiving the technique, and then hitting them on the spot. The second one, what we're doing is we're using our fist here to really drive in and just stop them dead. This can be an attack, it can be a block and attack, so the attack comes in almost sukiyuke, like I'm doing an uppercut. I block it here and then drive in, right, hence the importance of that opposite hip. Does that make sense? But I'm stopping it dead in the single technique. 
or I'm blocking it in the middle, like right on top of me, here's the blocks here, then this stops and this hits. Do you know what I mean? Bang, I just punch him square in the hip, I get this drop. Bang, up goes the uppercut. Does that make sense? We're from the space technique. Hence why you need both hips. It's no longer Ganon Varai in the true sense, it's more Ganon Tsuki, coupled with an uppercut. Does that make sense? Yeah? So that's the second, right? The second approach. That closer. The third one, oh my god, they're right on top of me. Boom, here. And so what do I do? They, they sort of grab me and they kind of pull me on. So all I do is go with them, bang, and then finish them. Right? So we've got three different options. And they're all dealing with different feelings of lightness. Right? How long I choose to allow them to come in on me for me to defend myself. Does that make sense? This one here, super duper preemptive. In they come, bang, boom, right? The second one, I take my time. I let them come in a little bit closer. I block them at this point, and then I strike them away. Third one, oh my God, I'm just light. I've got to keep my body weight back. I can't even drive it in here. But then they grab and pull, so I go with them, and finish, right? These are the three timings in terms of waiting for that attack to come onto me that I'm using. Does that make sense?